So, why is Porsche so obsessed with this strange engine design when most other car makers have moved on to different styles? After hours of watching videos and reading through articles, I found the answer to it. Most car engines have their cylinders, the parts where fuel burns to make power, standing upright in a line or in a V-shape. But in a boxer engine, the cylinders lie flat on their sides, facing each other like two boxers in a fight. When the engine runs, the pistons punch in and out toward each other, just like boxers throwing punches. That's why it's called a boxer engine. Here's the cool part. Because the pistons move in opposite directions, they cancel out each other's shaking. That means the engine stays smooth, balanced, and happy, even at high speeds. Porsche engineers love this design because it gives the car a low center of gravity. That's a fancy way of saying the car feels more stable and planted when it turns. So, while other cars might lean or wobble through corners, a Porsche just glides, flat and confident, like it's glued to the road. The story of Porsche's obsession with boxer engines goes all the way back to the 1930s. Ferdinand Porsche, the man who started it all, was already fascinated by simple, light, and clever engine designs. When he helped design the first Volkswagen Beetle, guess what engine it had? A small, air-cooled, flat-four boxer engine in the back. It was cheap, easy to fix, and it ran forever. People loved it because it made driving fun and simple. So, when Porsche made their first sports car, the Porsche 356 in 1948, they used the same kind of engine. The early 356s were like little rockets that used the same clever design as the people's car, but tuned for speed. That's how Porsche's love story with the boxer engine began. It wasn't about being fancy, it was about being smart. If the engine is tall and heavy, the car will feel like it's tipping. But if the engine is low and flat, like a boxer, the car stays balanced and tight. That's what makes Porsche cars so special. The boxer engine sits low in the car, keeping the weight close to the ground. That helps the car turn smoothly and grip the road like a cat chasing a laser pointer. Porsche doesn't just want power, they want control. They want a car that listens to your every move, like a dance partner who never steps on your toes. That's why the boxer engine fits Porsche's soul perfectly. It gives power, balance, and that unique sound that no other car has. When people think Porsche, they think 911. And 911 makes you think about that sound of the engine. The 911 first came out in 1964, and from day one, it had a flat six boxer engine sitting in the back. Most cars have engines in the front, but Porsche said, nope, we're different. Putting the engine in the back gave the car amazing traction. That means more grip on the road, especially when accelerating. The 911's boxer engine became famous for its growl. It doesn't roar like a V8 or whine like a Turbo 4. It sings with a deep, raspy tone, almost like a mechanical symphony. That sound isn't just noise, it's history. Every time you hear it, it's like the car is whispering stories from racetracks all over the world. Close your eyes for a second and imagine it. You're standing by a racetrack. Then, in the distance, you hear it, that flat six engine climbing through the gears. It starts with a low rumble, then grows into a sharp metallic howl. That's the sound of a Porsche boxer engine doing what it loves most, revving to the limit. Car lovers all over the world can recognize that sound instantly. It's pure, raw, and emotional. It feels alive, like the car has a beating heart. That unique sound comes from the boxer engine's shape and rhythm. Because the cylinders lie flat, the exhaust pulses are perfectly spaced, giving that unforgettable purr, grr, blap tone. You can't fake that. You can't copy it. It's 100% Porsche. So, if the boxer engine is so great, why doesn't everyone use it? Good question. Boxer engines are harder and more expensive to make. They need special parts and careful balancing. Most car companies don't want that trouble. They prefer simple inline or V-shaped engines that cost less to build. But Porsche? They don't care about easy. They care about perfection. For them, the boxer engine isn't just an engine. It's a piece of art, a symbol of who they are. So while others moved on, Porsche stayed loyal. And that loyalty became part of their legend. For many years, Porsche boxer engines were air-cooled, meaning they didn't use liquid coolant like most cars. Air flowed over the engine to keep it cool. That made them lighter and simpler. It also gave them that raw, metallic sound fans loved. But as engines got more powerful and emissions rules got stricter, 
Porsche had to switch to water-cooled engines in 1998. Some fans cried, it'll never be the same, but Porsche proved them wrong. Even with water cooling, the new 911 engines kept their flat layout and signature feel. They still punch like boxers, just with better control and reliability. So yes, the heart changed a little, but the soul stayed the same. Porsche has been racing for decades. And their secret weapon? You guessed it, the boxer engine. From the early 350s to the 911 Carrera RSR, and even the 917 Le Mans cars, Porsche always trusted the flat layout. Why? Because in racing, balance is everything. The boxer engine keeps the car low and stable. That means less body roll, more control, and faster lap times. Even today, in the 911 GT3 911 RSR and other race cars, the boxer engine still dominates. It's not just tradition, it's performance that wins trophies. Another reason Porsche loves boxer engines is weight distribution. Because the engine is flat and sits low, it spreads weight evenly across the car. That gives Porsche cars a magical feeling when you drive them. They feel just right, not too heavy in the front or the back. When you steer, the car follows perfectly. It's like the car can read your mind, and that's exactly how Porsche wants it. They don't just build cars, they build connections between driver and machine. Think about Porsche's shape, especially the 911, that curved rear end, that smooth roofline. All of it exists because of the boxer engine. Since the engine sits flat and low in the back, the car could have that sloping rear that everyone recognizes. Without the boxer engine, the 911 wouldn't look or drive the same. It's literally built around that engine. So when you see that shape on the road, you're not just looking at a car. You're looking at 60 years of engineering love for one special design. In modern times, even the mighty boxer had to evolve. New 911S have turbochargers to make more power while using less fuel. But Porsche didn't ditch the flat layout. They just improved it. Today's boxer engines are smarter, cleaner, and stronger than ever. The latest 911 Turbo S can hit 0 to 100 km per hour in just about 2.7 seconds. That's faster than many supercars, all while using a layout that's been around since the 1930s. And in the future, even when hybrid and electric Porsches become common, engineers still talk about keeping the boxer spirit alive, the low center of gravity, the balance, and the soul that defines Porsche driving. The 911 may be the king, but the Boxster engine also powers the Cayman and Boxster models. In fact, the Boxster name itself comes from combining Boxer and Roadster. These mid-engine cars use flat four or flat six engines, giving them perfect balance. They feel light and agile, like go-karts for grown-ups. When you drive a Cayman or a Boxster through corners, it feels like the car dances with you. That's the Boxer engine doing its magic again. Smooth, low, and perfectly balanced. Ask any Porsche fan what makes their car special, and they'll probably smile before they answer. They'll talk about the steering, the brakes, and yes, that boxer feel. It's not just about speed, it's about the emotion. You can feel the engine's rhythm right behind you. You can sense how the car moves and breathes with every turn. It feels alive, like you're part of something mechanical yet soulful. That's something electric cars still struggle to capture. And it's why Porsche holds on to the boxer engine like a piece of its heart. Now, Porsche has entered the electric world with a Taycan. It doesn't have pistons or cylinders, no boxer engine here. But guess what? The Taycan still carries that same idea, balance. Its battery pack sits low and flat, giving the car a boxer-like center of gravity. It handles just like a Porsche should, planted, fast, and full of control. So even without the sound or the cylinders, the Taycan keeps the boxer spirit alive in a new form. It shows that Porsche's obsession isn't just about the engine shape, it's about the feeling it creates. So, will Porsche ever stop using the boxer engine? Probably not anytime soon. They've spent decades perfecting it. And even as technology changes, the boxer layout still gives something others can't match. A mix of balance, emotion, and identity. Future 911s may get hybrid systems, electric assist, or even synthetic fuels. But deep inside, they'll always stay true to that flat fighting spirit. The Boxer engine isn't just Porsche's favorite, it's their DNA. When you think about it, Porsche's loyalty to the Boxer engine is a lot like loyalty in life. 
Most companies chase trends, changing designs every few years, but Porsche stuck with what they believed in and made it better every time. So if you want to buy a Porsche in the future, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Also make sure to watch our previous video about the Isle of Man TT races as well.